five straight sessions now in the U.S. as well as in other parts of the world, lower in yields. As I speak to you right now, the two-year is down three basis points in yield, five years down eight basis points, the 10-year is down seven basis points, and the 30-year is down six basis points of the yield curve. Certain parts have flattened dramatically. We actually have the fives, tens part of the yield curve at zero now. The twos, tens flat as well at zero. But interestingly enough, the fives, thirties, which was at negative four basis points on July, I'm sorry, on June 14th, is now at 25 basis points. That's up two from the settlement that we got on Friday of last week. Twos, tens, close to inversion. They actually went briefly inverted this morning. In the UK, 10-year yields down by 12 basis points. German 10-year boom down by 13 basis points. And this is all slower economy recession fears as we see crude and copper both down around 5%. As I speak to you right now, we've got the Russell down over 2%, the NASDAQ down over 1%, the S&P also down over 1%, right around 1.5%, and the Dow down about 1.5%, but coming off its lows on stronger durable goods orders from the U.S. today. The euro currency is falling again to lower levels, again on higher energy prices in the EU, which are pushing the probability of a recession for the EU much higher. The low in, or the move we're seeing right now in the euro currency futures about 103, 21 and a half. That's the lowest level since about 2003. So a very dramatic move. We've actually got some shops now predicting that we're falling below parity against the dollar for the euro currency. Now looking ahead data tomorrow, euro area retail sales, a 10 year German boon auction, which could be interesting considering the moving yields. Bunch of S&P global PMI figures, including Germany, the UK and the US. Also jolts jobs opening data and then the FOMC minutes in the U.S. tomorrow afternoon.